What's going on? Why am I losing this? Why don't I have sound? All right, it's back. Someone's pressing buttons and turning my sound off. Who is, who's asking for a Labor Day rundown in my ear? God damn it. 10 seconds. Get. There's insanity in the control room tonight. You have insanity in my earpiece. Clear. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? I don't know. It's on a different Where's the hammer? It's on a different is it on the, go up on the other floor. Somebody go up there and stop the hammering. Stop the hammering. I'll go down to the goddamn floor myself and stop it. Keep the goddamn commercial break going. Call fucking Phil Griffin. I don't care who the fuck you have to call. Stop the hammering. I don't know why I bother to say how to cut the slots when you don't do it. I just don't, I don't know why I, I just. So now I have to chase those stupid goddamn entrails that you allowed him to stick out there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, look, this is this is he's not on air, okay? But the cameras are always rolling and when I was at MSNBC I was cognizant of this. But you know, the, you just You forget. No, it's I, not even that you forget. It's just stuff's going on, right? Yeah. And so me, I'd get hungry cuz I'm running the whole day to the Young Turks 2 hours, MSNBC an hour. Like, so I'd be eating a banana off air. I was like, can't wait for these tapes to be released one day. I'm like Eating a banana, right? <laughs> anyway, so somebody has those tapes somewhere. Yeah. So that's why I kind of feel bad for Lawrence here, and he's genuinely frustrated about things he probably should be frustrated. If you've never had an earpiece in your ear, it is super annoying. Now, of course, you get used to it. Anna's got one right now. Yeah. But and if somebody's constantly talking and you're trying to concentrate, it is grating. So that's my defense of him. And I, I'm with you, Anna. It's too amusing. We had a Southwest uh, uh, pilot that got caught on tape. Now we're gonna run that uh, piece of tape for you guys, but you won't be able to understand it because all he's doing is cursing. Yeah, fight. Goddamn liberal. Weirdos. Probably driving around that hot days. Lower. I go for slowest. Last calling on tower. That's uh, one two four one zero. Hi, Mike. If you don't have balls in this, you're rolling cold, man. God damn it. That's Southwest 531's ready to go. All right, I'm trying to figure out what my favorite part of that is. Uh, it, it, one of them is, uh, your mic's hot uh, over now. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, and then, oh, the hot, goddamn hot days are going too slow, man. <laughs> right? And then, but no, I for me, my favorite part is like, you do, apparently you don't have testicles unless you're rolling cold, goddamn it. Okay, <laughs> so I had to look up what Roland Cole is because apparently uh, I, I'm not cool enough for this. Uh, so this is Roland Cole, that's what it means. Oh. Um, and they do this um, because they're maniacs. Only the candidate can make And the decision. party will trust Trump to be able to make that decision. Well, I think the party won't have a role in it. You see our we, uh, Runway we walk. just uh, oh heard God, from the likely great? nominee of the Republican Party. Um, we will go to a break here. I can watch the the discussion continues right after this. Sounds like Brian They're Williams. They're trying to cut. She's like Brian Williams. He was like, oh, I can hear that. That's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you got to stop, man. Yeah. You got to stop. got to turn Chris's mic off. Mm hmm Look, it's it's obviously awkward. One because it's TV and they're they are supposed to be held to a higher standard than the internet. Um, it's and the notion that we hold uh, uh, people on cable television to a higher standard than anything is a recipe <laughs> for continued daily disappointment. Disappointment, yeah. 